Kukwekyo. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience de court est reprise. Nous voudrions donner un tour à counsel pour les accusés de personnes, commençant par le counsel pour Nunchia, pour poser des questions à ce moment. Pour l'interrogatoire de ce témoin, je vous en prie. Council Son Arun. Maître Son Arun. Good afternoon, Mr. President Jonas. Good afternoon, Mr. Pinkin. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. I am Son Arun. I am representing. Je m'appelle Son Arun. Mr. Nunchi. Je représente Monsieur Nunchi. J'ai quelques questions à vous poser. According to my observation concerning your responses to the prosecution counsel for the civil parties, you indicated that you joined the revolution for a long time already. Rejoint la révolution. I remember you saying that you saw the. Revolutionary flags of the Communist Party of Cambodia. Avoir vu l'étendard révolutionnaire du PCK. How could you describe the revolutionary flags to the court? Que pouvez-vous dire à ce sujet? How were they like? À quoi ressemblaient les numéros de cette revue? S'agissait-il d'une revue manuscrite, imprimée Quel était le format de cette publication Réponse. Regarding the revolutionary flags, so far as I remember, d'après mes souvenirs, there were sickle, the rice dogs, une fausse part of the revolutionary flags. Apparaissait sur cette flag étendard révolutionnaire. Represent the country. Il y avait également La tige d'une pousse de riz, le bateau, l'interprète se reprend, le drapeau représentait le pays. Whether the flags were written or handwritten or not, I'm afraid I don't recollect it. Et je ne me souviens pas s'il s'agissait d'une publication imprimée ou manuscrite. This means that you only saw the cover of the revolutionary flag, and you had no opportunity to even read the content of the flag. Is that correct? 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 Oui. Question. Question. Mr. Witness. Monsieur le témoin. You testify before the chamber. You have been heard for almost two weeks. And you indicated that you have known Mr. Nunchier. Is that correct? You have been heard by the chamber during the two weeks, and you have said to have known Mr. Nunchier. Is that correct? 
response. Yes, I had just known him when I started working at K1. Je l'ai connu au moment où j'ai commencé à travailler à K1. I was working at the kitchen with his wife. Je travaillais à la cuisine so I avec sa femme. Knew him back then. C'est ainsi que je l'ai connu à l'époque. Uh, à con look. Question. Question. Thank you, goodness. How did you know Nguyen Chia? Comment did you know him very well? Or were you told when walking on the road Est-ce que vous le uh, that uh, bien? somebody, uh, or were you told that he was Nguyen Chia or have you Ou bien, had any vous l'avez with simplement him, vu passer en rue et quelqu'un vous aurait dit qu'il s'agissait de Nunchia ou bien est-ce que vous avez Response. eu une discussion avec lui I know him Réponse. because I used to deliver food Je le him. connaissais parce que j'allais régulièrement and lui apporter de la nourriture I chatted with him. et j'ai aussi bavardé avec lui. Thank you. Question. Question. You say so. This means that you know him, but uh, your relationship dit, with him has not vous been very close. Mais vous pas très I may say so. De lui, pas? Can you tell the court what Nunchia characteristic is like? Quel is he genre a very mean person, cruel, for example? Et selon vous, Nunchia, est-ce quelqu'un de cruel, par exemple Est-ce quelqu'un de mesquin I remember Réponse. knowing him as a person who is friendly. D'après mes souvenirs, c'est as quelqu'un normal. d'amical, I have never heard de normal. Any problems caused by him. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de problèmes quelconques qu'il aurait causé. Question. Question. Do you know what Nguyen Chia did uh, during the revolution? Savez-vous ce que faisait Nguyen Chia durant la révolution? Response. Réponse. During the revolution, I had not durant la known him yet. Je I ne got le to know him encore. after Phnom Penh was liberated. Ce n'est qu'après la libération de Phnom Penh que je l'ai rencontré, soit fin 1975 ou 1976. Question. After 1975 or 1976 that you said you offered food to him, do you know what he did back then? Selon vous, vous lui apportiez de la nourriture. Que faisait-il? Response. Est-ce que vous savez ce qu'il faisait? So à far, as I know, he was Réponse. the uh, representing the people. Je savais. He was in charge of the people assembly. Qu'il était responsable de l'assemblée des représentants Question. du peuple. Question. Apart from the chairman of the people's assembly. Question. À part la présidence you know de cette assemblée. What function? Savez-vous quelles étaient ses then. fonctions à l'époque Response. Réponse. Non, I don't know. Non. Question. Question. According to the records of interview document D76-6, you stated before the co-investigating judge that you worked vous avez dit at the construction section for half a month. Then vous aviez travaillé au sein de la section Then de la construction the pendant deux semaines et qu'ensuite les troupes vietnamiennes ont attaqué. Cambodia. 
Do you remember when exactly the Vietnamese troops came? À quel moment exactement est-ce que les troupes vietnamiennes sont arrivées? Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez? Response. Réponse. I don't remember the exact date, but je ne me souviens pas de la date exacte. On the 7th of January, mais it was the time when the troops came. C'est le 7 janvier que les troupes sont arrivées. Question. What year was it? C'était en quelle année? Response. It was 1979. Réponse. Question. 1979. Is it correct to say that it was on the 7th of January 1979? Était-ce le 7 janvier 1979? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. Oui. Question. Question. When the Vietnamese troops attacked Cambodia in 1979, in particular, you told the prosecutors and lead court lawyers for the Civil Party that you left Phnom Penh on the 7th of January 1979. At that time, the Vietnamese troops already entered. Vous avez quitté Phnom Penh le 7 janvier 1979. Les troupes vietnamiennes étaient déjà arrivées à Phnom Penh. Avez-vous vu de vos propres yeux les troupes vietnamiennes entrer dans Phnom Penh Réponse. Je n'ai pas vu les troupes, mais je n'ai pas vu les convoi de Tanks Mais j'ai vu and un convoi de chars armored vehicles and soldiers were et de blindés seen on the roads. sur la I route, was il y avait des soldats. Road four, Moi, je prenais la fuite par la route nationale numéro going 4 all the way to Kampong en direction Spoo, de Kampong Spoo. Uh, to, uh, going on the, to the west soit vers until I reached the border. Et ce, jusqu'au moment où je suis arrivé à la frontière. Question. Vous venez de dire que vous n'aviez pas vu de vos propres yeux de soldats. Mais vous dites avoir vu des chars. À qui appartenaient ces chars Réponse. The situation was very chaotic. La situation était I heard très chaotique. people were saying that uh, there were tanks Des that gens belonged to both the Vietnamese and the Cambodians. And since it was uh, very Vietnamien confusing, the Cambodia. situation was very confusing. I couldn't et comme la situation était uh, très confuse, je ne pourrais en dire davantage là-dessus. Thank you, says counsel. Next question. question. Merci. You stated time and again that you à plusieurs know reprises, Pang and Lin vous avez very dit well. avoir très bien connu Pang et and Lin. You also been very close vous avez to aussi them. dit avoir In été très proche de ces personnes. To the two people, Pang and Lin. Pang et Lin. Since you have had a close relationship to uh, them, could you describe Pang? Dans ce contexte, pourriez-vous décrire la personnalité de Pang Était-ce quelqu'un de cruel ou quelqu'un de normal Réponse. Réponse. Because I have had been working with j'ai très bien them. connu ces gens parce que j'ai travaillé instructions avec eux. on how to perform my work from him for example lui um, me donnait des instructions sur mon travail of, um, 
delivering vegetables. Par exemple, he would ask me to do this and do la distribution that. des légumes, il me confie and différentes he missions. He would uh, chit chat with me. And he was Nous avions l'habitude de bavarder ensemble, person. et c'était quelqu'un de normal. Question. On the 7th of January 1979, Le 7 janvier you 1979, Phnom Penh. vous avez quitté Phnom Penh. The Vietnamese troops had come. Les troupes vietnamiennes Could you étaient arrivées. Pourriez-vous nous décrire was it, la situation, was the situation de Phnom Penh Est-ce que la confusion régnait kept at home or were they fleeing? Est-ce que Please les gens describe the actual situation of Phnom Penh restaient sur place ou prenaient la fuite Quelle était la situation à Phnom Penh ce jour-là Response. As indicated, Réponse. Phnom Penh situation Comme was je dit, à Phnom Penh, confusing. La situation était confuse. It happened both at, uh, at houses and also on the streets. Things were chaotic. Le chaos Question. régnait Could you please describe dans les rues how chaotic et dans les maisons. Would you refer Uh, how chaotic was the Lorsque situation? vous parlez de was chaos, qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire exactement Est-ce qu'il y avait des combats Quelle était l'origine de ce chaos Réponse. The chaotic situation Réponse. was caused by people fleeing. Their homes. La situation était chaotique people parce running que les gens fuyaient leur maison, There was no couraient dans la rue, But, uh, il n'y avait pas de combat. The situation was chaotic, Mais la I situation said. était chaotique, comme je l'ai dit. Thank you. Question. Question. Before 1975, avant 1975, vous participiez au mouvement you révolutionnaire ever de libération contre les impérialistes. Um, bombardment, Durant cette période, est-ce que vous avez été témoin de bombardements aériens américains Réponse. Yes, I did. Réponse. I oui. saw or I was witnessing these uh, aerial bombardments in Kampong Tom. J'ai vu ces bombardements aériens à Kampong Tom. Bombs were dropped from B52 both at night and during the daytime. Lâchaient leurs bombes. Each time we la would see et la nuit. three B-52 bombers à flying fois, over il y avait our village, trois B-52 qui survolaient bombs. le village et qui lâchaient leurs Thank bombes. You. Question. Question. Has any members of your family Est-ce que des membres de votre famille ont été blessés par suite de ces bombardements aériens Response. Réponse. None of them has been injured. Non, personne n'a été The president, blessé. Counsel, could you please, uh, Le président, hold on? maître, pouvez-vous attendre quelques instants Le président, uh, counsels for Mr. Yang Sari, do you know 
anything about Est-ce que l'avocat Mr. Yengsari de Yengsari a des informations a sur no, I have son a client, maître Aung Udom Non, je ne sais rien The President Councils, uh, you may Maître, go to um, check uh, your client to see what happens to him. Vous êtes aller voir votre client pour voir ce qui lui est arrivé. Le président, je vous en prie. The president, the council, you may now proceed. Duty council, Mr. President, uh, witness would like L'avocat uh, to go to the bathroom. Affecté au the témoin. Uh, he may Le témoin souhaiterait go to the bathroom now. se rendre au lieu d'aisance. Le président, il y est autorisé.
Somme Group Lokti Council Angadam, Mr. President, Angadam. Your Honours, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges, Mr. Yengsari has significant Yengsari health reason. However, certain problems of santé of the doctors qui ne sont pas négligeables, mais grâce à l'aide du médecin de service, son état de santé s'est stabilisé, mais il continue d'être surveillé de près par le médecin. Le médecin m'a dit que Yang Sari devra être transporté immédiatement à l'hôpital. Cela dit, j'ai consulté mon client Proceed uh, et with the current proceedings. Pour gagner Unless du temps, the situation changes, nous voyons aucun uh, inconvénient à ce que uh, les débats se poursuivent. This, en cas uh, de changement, j'en informerai la Chambre, mais pour l'instant, mon client ne voit aucun inconvénient à ce que l'audience se poursuive, même s'il n'est pas là. The president. Le président. Now, due to the serious health concern de ses problèmes de santé, the chamber allows the doctors to evacuate him to the hospital so that he can be treated. À conduire Yengsari à l'hôpital afin qu'il puisse Just now, être soigné. For Mr. Owens, uh, indicated clearly La défense that de Yengsari vient d'indiquer qu'elle a consulté that, uh, son Mr. client has et que celui-ci a donné son accord pour ce que time. les débats se poursuivent afin de gagner rule, du temps en application. Sub-Rule 5 of uh, 81, rather, of Rule 81, rather, de la règle the 81. proceedings may continue since uh, we have Les débats uh, obtained uh, approval car nous from avons reçu le the accused person, and it already clear to the chamber that counsels have consulted with uh, the accused. So the hearing will continue. Et donc, We have already deferred uh, on two occasions such hearings, and uh, we should now uh, continue since uh, the witness has is stable to dès lors que de santé provide uh, further testimony de to the chamber. Council for Mr. Nunchia, you may now proceed uh, with your questions. Et que l'interrogatoire du témoin peut se poursuivre. Council Sonarun, thank you, Mr. President. I have Maître Son three Arun. or four more questions Merci, uh, before I conclude. Uh, Il me reste trois ou quatre questions. Uh, Après quoi, Just now mon confrère va prendre la relève. Mr. Witness, Je viens uh, poser une question au témoin. Said, uh, you heard, Monsieur le témoin, or you witnessed. The American bombardments, Vous avez aerial bombardments. vu les bombardements aériens américains. But the question is, Ma question est la suivante. Could you describe the casualties, the damages Qu'en est-il des victimes by the aerial bombardments? causées par ces bombardements aériens et qu'en est-il des dégâts occasionnés Response. The bombing caused damages to the paddy field, uh, the paddy, the rice fields and les bridges. Ont les rivières, les rizières, this is what I have heard, ponts. but there is no human casualties. At least not I. Had seen. Pas que j'ai vu de toute façon. Respond, uh, rather question. When you came to Phnom Penh, question. 
on the 17th of April 1975. Quand vous êtes venu à Phnom Penh le 17 avril 1975? Did you see whether there was any rice or properties left over? Avez-vous remarqué s'il restait or were there any people at all? Ou des biens? Staying in Phnom Penh. Y avait-il des gens à Phnom Penh? Because you indicated that uh, when you came, some people vous avez were dit leaving. Que so my vous question again Penh, is whether you y avait saw des gens qui la ville. people all in Phnom Penh, or was it empty? Y avait-il donc des gens à Phnom Penh, ou la ville était-elle déserte? Response. Réponse. What I saw was that in Phnom Penh, it was quiet. La ville était très calme. So I could say that after the 17th of April 1975, people could have been evacuated already il est possible que les gens aient déjà été évacués perhaps during the time when i entered phnom penh people could have been evacuated already peut-être que les gens avaient déjà été évacués quand je suis I arrivé à phnom penh i came to phnom penh through prek dam je suis and arrivé I à phnom penh par prek dam on the road et j'ai vu qu'il y avait des gens sur la route dans l'autre direction question before you came to Phnom Penh, Question. you worked as a soldier. Avant de venir à Phnom and Penh, when vous Phnom Penh was attacked, you soldat. remained a soldier. Et après l'attaque sur Phnom Penh, vous étiez toujours soldat. When in Phnom Penh, did you see the Khmeru soldiers Penh, fighting alongside uh, the Vietnamese troops attacking Phnom Penh or were the Vietnamese troops attacking or the Khmeru troops attacking Phnom Penh alone? Des attaques en même temps que les soldats vietnamiens ou est-ce que les soldats vietnamiens et les soldats Response. Khmer Rouge Before Phnom Penh was liberated séparément. In Kampong Tom, I Réponse. saw Avant the Vietnamese troops. Avant la de Penh, I asked people à Tom. why the Vietnamese troops were there. Pourquoi? But I was told that Il they were there to attack the common enemies, the American On imperialists, m'a dit qu'ils étaient là pour attaquer l'ennemi commun, les impérialistes But when américains. I entered Phnom Penh, avec les I did not uh, see them anymore because I was Penh, not je ne les ai pas vus. a fighter myself. Je pas un I lived with Koi Kun. Je I was kept uh, at the place to look after it. Et and I had not been armed. À pour so I did not engage in the fighting Et to je see pas this. Au combat. Je donc pas vu Question. Ça. You said, Question. in Kampong Tom, you saw the vous Vietnamese vous troops. Avez vu des soldats vietnamiens à Kampong Tom. How many of them did you see? Combien en avez-vous vu? Response. Réponse. I saw a lot of them. J'en ai vu beaucoup. They were stationed along the river or streams near Santok. Ils étaient Location. Près de Santok, I saw au bord des them, rivières et des ruisseaux. Or rather, the Vietnamese troops uh, were play, uh, were gathered in three uh, locations, Les but I don't remember which location. Trois endroits, mais je ne me were, uh, pas uh, they were où ils question. So according to your recollection, question. You said uh, that Selon the Vietnamese troop uh, was seen in Sandan or in Santok in Kampong Tom. Were the Vietnamese troops uh, mixed with the Khmer Rouge soldiers? 
Khmer Rouge. They live uh, separately, and uh, their work was also separate. Ils vivaient séparément, et leur and they also aussi distinct. located in different places as well. Et ils étaient stationnés dans des endroits différents. Thank you. Question. Question. To your knowledge. À votre connaissance. Or to what you heard, were there many Vietnamese soldiers? Uh, how, how many divisions were there, there or how many entendu, regiments were there? Vietnamien était là. Combien de divisions? Combien de régiments? บ่ตามยมสมานบ่เต้าจรณาหาที่หมอกองพลทมได้หมอกกัมพูชาและกองต่อเวียดนามทําไมสมัยสมัยสมัยสมัยสมัยสมัยสมัยสมัยสมัย
comme je vous l'ai dit, il s'agissait d'une petite small coopérative. coopérative. And over there, there were uh, wavering uh, and we grew vegetables. L'on y faisait pousser des légumes. There were about 30 people in that cooperative. Il y avait une trentaine de personnes dans cette coopérative. And my responsibility was not important. I was, uh, I, my everyday job was to go out uh, fishing and then after that I, in, when free, I grew vegetables and then de faire pousser des légumes. After that, uh, I was sent to Phnom Penh and I worked Après, as a construction worker in Phnom, Phnom Penh. Pour travailler comme, euh, Thank you. Travailler uh, dans la that is all for me, Mr. President, and I would like to ask for your leave uh, to hand it over Monsieur to Président, my international colleagues. Je vais maintenant laisser la parole. The President, yes. Avec votre permission, you may à proceed. mon international. Le Président, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone. Merci, Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. And once again, thank you for coming to Phnom Penh to assist us. I'll, I'll be very brief. I don't have too many questions this afternoon. I've got two areas I'd like to cover. The first relates to some testimony about K-1. You have provided testimony already about the location of K-1. And I just note that previously there has been some testimony that K-1 was located on the riverfront of Phnom Penh near the Chaktumak Theater. And that, of course, is a very famous building here in Phnom Penh, designed by the great Cambodian architect Van Mollivan. Mr. Witness, are you familiar? Are you familiar with the Chaktumak Theater? Monsieur le témoin, connaissez-vous le théâtre Chaktumak? Or the Chaktumak Conference Hall, as it's sometimes called. Centre de conférence Chaktumak, comme on l'appelle parfois. Response. Yes, I know that theater, but I did not know its exact location and direction because I went there. I I have not been there again. Thank you, Mr. Witness. There has also been testimony before this chamber that a certain Chinese circus troupe gave a performance at that theater, at the Chaktumak Theater, sometime during the DK period. Mr. Witness, are you aware, are you personally aware that any such performance took place during the DK regime at the Chaktumak Theater, that is, a Chinese circus performance? Yes, I, I saw it once, but I cannot recall uh, the place where the performance took place. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Mr. Witness, did you also know, are you also aware that later in the, in the same year, later in 1979, the Vietnamese-backed government in Cambodia, that's the PRK, the People's Republic of Kampuchea, in which, by the way, I'm sure you're aware, Hun Sen and Heng Sam Rin held key positions. Are you aware, Mr. Witness, that at that same location, Jack Tumak Theater, the PRK orchestrated a trial in absentia of Pol Pot and Yang Sari? Have you ever heard of that trial, Mr. Witness? Response. I do not know about that. Response. 
Thank you, Mr. Witness. And, and my final question, question on this point. Ma dernière question are you aware that this building, that is the building we are standing in today, the one that houses the ECCC courtroom, CETC, are you aware that CETC, this building is a copy, bâtiment, uh, a reproduction, albeit not reproduction a very faithful one, uh, but that this building is a copy of the Chaktumak Theater en fait where that circus and political show trial were held? Are you aware of that fact? Ce spectacle s'était organisé. Le savez-vous? The president, uh, the witness is instructed not to answer uh, to this question because uh, the question is irrelevant. Your Honor, I'll just note for the record that we have raised the issue before about the show trials and the fairness of the proceedings, so it should not come as a surprise. This is not certainly the first time that this issue was raised, but, but I will move on to my next set of questions for the witness. Mr. Witness, my next set of questions relates to testimony you gave this morning regarding your time at Svei Mies Pagoda. Now, you've already told us that for some time you worked there, you worked at the Svaimeas Pagoda, and perhaps we could place a document on the screen, that's E187.1, that document was already on the screen this morning. I'd like to ask the witness a few questions about that document. The President. You may proceed. Le président, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, do you do you see the document in front of you? Avez-vous le document devant vous, Mr. Witness? Le President, Council, please uh, identify the uh, document together with the EON number so that uh, the court officer can uh, point uh, to the place where you want to uh, discuss uh, to the witness so that uh, we can move on expeditiously. Yes, I will do that, Your Honor. My apologies for neglecting that. It's a document, again, as I said, E187.1. It's the former SOAS interview with the witness, uh, the English ERN I'm looking at, 00089701, Khmer 00801769. And the French double zero six four four five seven five. It's the same document that was before the witness this morning. The same document that we have shown to the witness this morning. Mr. Witness, I would just like to ask you two, two brief questions about this document. The second full paragraph, the first sentence, it says, I was sent by Lin to take charge of Sve Mies Pagoda after Penang was, uh, Pong, rather, excuse me, was arrested. Is, is that a correct, an accurate summary of your statement, that first sentence? Yes, indeed, I was oui. sent to Swai Mies Pagoda, but as I, I, I wish to reiterate again that I did not hold any position of importance. I important. was not the leader of that particular place. Je pas le chef de cet I understand your evidence on that. Thank you. Question. 
Mr. Witness, and the, the second point, the next sentence, at the end of 1978, I was in charge of first Boats Femias and then workers at PH1. Is that also an accurate reflection of your statement? I was in charge. The word réponse. in charge here does not uh, necessarily occupé, mean that I left uh, the ne veut pas dire people over there, but I actually oversaw the uh, tempering uh, session over there. Je when I left uh, K1, I was transferred to Swaimiers. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And it, that was my next ensuite, question, just to clarify something that, uh, that I took down during question. the questioning of my oui, colleague. Chose que you said you were overseeing, even though it was a small cooperative, you were overseeing the tempering sessions. Les, uh, so that is indeed your evidence, correct? That you were overseeing the tempering sessions. And so it's exact, you surveillez les séances de rééducation? Yes, uh, that's Réponse. correct. Oui, c'est exact. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And just to clarify, as, as you've already said in your evidence, uh, that, that it was true that people were sent to that location for a certain kind of forced labor. Were there other forms of tempering at that location? Sous une certaine forme, y avait-il d'autres types de rééducation là-bas? The form of tempering at Swai Mir, as I indicated earlier, that uh, the work was divided among members of the cooperative. Some people were assigned to go out fishing and others à, à were pêche, responsible for vegetable growing, others were responsible for wavering. Et aussi le tissage. Thank you, Mr. Witness. And this morning, you told my colleague across the stage for the civil parties that you didn't know whether anyone was taken away from Svaimir to be killed at S21. My question to you now is, isn't it true that people were taken from that location, from Svaimir, to be killed at other locations, not necessarily S21? Are you aware of that? No, I'm not aware of it, and neither have I seen it. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Mr. Witness, are you familiar with someone called Yum, the widow of an S-71 cadre, Yum? Are you familiar with this person? Respond. No, I, I don't. No, je ne sais pas. I don't je know pas, his name, and neither have I met Et je the person. Jamais rencontré cette personne. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I, I'd now like to place a Le document France. on the screen. Merci, it's document D224.14, and that's 14. English ERN 00. 352073 
Le Président. Le Président. Yes, Council, you may continue. Allez-y, Maître. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, Merci, le the document in front of you le témoin, is another SOAS witness statement, uh, similar to the one that, that you gave. And I'd just like to read a portion of that, the portion that I'm interested in. But when we were at Voat Che Udom, Voat Sleng, Voat Sveimias, and Kam Muat, there was no political education, just work, just paddy farming. People disappeared every night and were taken under Y-10 guards. If anybody made any trouble, the Y-10 guard would come arrest them and take them away. Does this, Mr. Witness, in any way refresh your recollection whether anyone was ever taken away at Sveimias Pagoda? The international co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I apologize to my friend for interrupting. I am not likely, uh, strictly speaking, to object, uh, but just more generally as a matter of principle, uh, thus far, uh, we haven't been permitted to use um, statements of other individuals in our examination of witnesses. Um, we don't object to this practice, but it's a legitimate basis to do so, um, but it may be appropriate, perhaps, if the Chamber could give some Direction Dans ce cas-ci, mais so that il serait bon que la Chambre nous donne des instructions à cet Thank égard. You. Je vous remercie. Le Président. Le Président. Council, you may respond Maître, uh, to the objection raised by the prosecution. réagir à cette objection de l'accusation Thank you, Your Honor. Of, of course, it's always been our stated position sûr, for the record that there's no legal basis for that position that the Chamber has adopted. And we've said that several times. Chambre, this, this, this is not an OCIJ statement. This is not a statement that was taken uh, prepared by the ECCC. This is something that was prepared by a researcher. I think it's perfectly acceptable to put the proposition to the witness and see what he has to say about it. I don't see anything controversial in that practice. I might add, I might add, I might just ask for the Chamber's clarification on a point. This is a document that's not on our Ceci witness list. Um, notre liste de it's a document that we'd like to use for impeachment purposes. So can I take it that the témoin, scenario, the proposal, the methodology that I referred to before with respect to the distinction between impeachment material and new documents, entre can I infer that that has been accepted and that we will be allowed to continue impeaching la witnesses?
Your Honor, if I may just make two brief corrections for the record, I'm, I'm told by my colleagues that I said witness list rather than document list. list. I, I assume everyone pas de understood de what I was talking about. I'm also told by my parlais. Cambodian colleague, and I'm being told by Judge Cartwright to slow down. Mon I was also told by my Cambodian colleague that the word impeach has a certain a very negative connotation in, in Khmer. So all I mean by that is to test the credibility. Cela That's all I mean, to challenge the credibility, dire, to test the credibility. Credibility I don't mean whatever, in fact, it is that it means in Khmer, which is, as I'm told, quite strong. Du sens qui, d'après ce qu'on m'a dit, ressort en Khmer et qui est assez fort. I'm sorry, I cut you off, Mr. President. Je vous ai coupé, Monsieur le Président. Bah, on continue. Le Président. Le moment est venu... Thank you all. Yeah. The time is now appropriate for the afternoon adjournment. We will, the chamber will take a short break for 50, uh, 20 minutes and we will resume at uh, 3 o'clock. And we will continue the proceeding after we resume. And court officers is instructed to bring the witness and his duty counsel to uh, the waiting room and uh, have them here before 3 the court is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.